Hi, I'm Brooke Talahun. And I'm Kate Leudelt. And this summer we did our SCAR research with Concordia Neuroscience Program, and we're going to walk you through what we did. So under Dr. Strand and Harshana, we looked at behavioral effects on an MS structure. That's our overarching goal. But just this summer we did music enrichment. So we were debating between Mozart versus Vivaldi, and we focused mainly on the beats and we used a sample paper that like outlined the whole experimental method I'll take you through later. Well, going through, we did the novel tank to test anxiety. So like we're expecting baseline behavior. If they're anxious, when we put them in the tank, they will go to the bottom. So looking at the experimental design, we enriched just one group of fish for two weeks straight, twice a day. So we did it in the morning before they were fed and then in the afternoon before they were fed or after they were fed. And then on the Monday and Tuesday for two weeks or three weeks, we did a baseline control the first week before we started enrichment. We tested them on the novel tank and novel object, but we used two different novel objects. As you can see in the up right hand, left hand, I don't know how you can see it on here, but so our hypothesis was that novel object B would be scarier to them, which would make them remember it more and like be more afraid of it. So they could like learn and be different from the familiar objects we would test them with. So kind of how the novel object recognition test worked is we would put them in the tank by themselves, kind of like a novel tank test for six minutes. And then we would put the same object in that familiar object for six minutes. And then we would wait a minute. Their normal retention time, fish kind of forget after like five minute span. So we were, we wanted them to like not remember it, but remember it enough so they could tell it was a new object that we put in the second time. And we switched between the novel object A and the novel object B. And we were testing to see which one would work more for our future with the MS demyelination involved. Rick will talk a little bit about the results that we got over the summer. Awesome. So um, for the results, um, as Kate mentioned earlier, we use ETL vision to look at how much time they spend in each zones. And for the noble tank, we had three zones, top, middle, bottom. So our hypothesis is that as the fish become less anxious, they're going to spend more time in the top zone compared to the bottom zone. And then we plotted that based on the weekend control, as you can see, around here. Um, so you can see that the bottom was represented by the blue. And even though it's not decreasing as you, when you see it in the graph, the significance, the, the p-values indicate that there's a significant de decrease. But you can see that the um, time spent in the top zones increased both for the control and the enriched group. But for the enriched group, you can see uh, more clear distinction, even from the graph. We normalize the data by using week zero as a starting point. And when comparing week one to, uh, and week two with week zero, we saw that the bottom for control and bottom for enriched, they both decreased, but there was a bigger decrease in the control than the enriched. And there was a significant increase for time spent at the top for the enriched one. Um, so what this means is that although we, we did not find a significant correlation between being enriched and controlled for this uh, wild type zebrafish, there was some change. And we also looked at the novel object recognition. And for that, we showed them the objects turn by turn, and they preferred or they preferred to stay with the familiar object when they saw novel object B. So they were inherently more scared of novel object B compared to novel object A. Um, we can see this in the data here again. Um, so the darker shaded ones, they represent the control group and the lighter shaded one, the gradient, the lighter gradient represents the, um, the enriched group. 
we can see that they tend to spend more time with the familiar object in both cases, but it's more pronounced in the enriched group. We can see uh, the means, they, they're very distinct in the enriched group compared to the control group. And we can also notice the trend going week by week that they, they tended to spend more time with the familiar object and they were scared of the novel objects as the weeks went on. So um, our overall goal for the lab is to investigate the effect of music enrichment and uh, the improvement of uh, multiple sclerosis model and zebrafish. So eventually when we have um, transgenic models of zebrafish for multiple sclerosis, this data would help us form the baseline. So we don't expect to see something drastic in this data because um, they're wild type zebrafish and enrichment for three weeks shouldn't give us like data that's overly significant. But when we use this as baseline, it's gonna help us identify if there's any trend in future research. Thank you. Thank you.